I don't know if that was on camera. Kind of does a backflip. So this one, if I go like this, let's get him to backflip on on here, perhaps. There. Hello and welcome back to another video and this is actually the last one that I'll be filming with that uh, video introduction because having hit a thousand subscribers uh, yesterday due to the fantastic support I've been get, uh, getting on here I'm actually going to be dropping my uh, logo rebrand for the next video and I'm going to do like a bit of a thank you and what's going on with the channel but that's for the next video this one is going to be having a look at these four different generations of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures all the way from 2004, 2013 2014 and 2014. A quick refresh because I know I'm always terrible with the colours and the names as much as I always try and remember them. Um, the orange turtle is Michelangelo and he has your uh, generally two nunchucks. The next one, the purple one, is Donatello and he has a bow staff. The next one is the red one which is Raphael and he has, uh, I think he's pronounced size or, or twin Sai. Uh, it's kind of like a three pronged weapon. And then finally we've got uh, the blue one, which is uh, Leonardo, who has the two katanas. I think growing up my favourite was uh, Leonardo with the two swords, and if I ever played a, a Turtles game I would usually pick him. And then second, I think I always used to go for Donatello, if I didn't have this option with the staff. Um, I don't know what were your favourites, uh, if, you, if you had one, a particular favourite, or maybe you went for your favourite colour. Um, so that's the characters, that's their colours, that's their weapons. And what I'm just going to quickly do now is go through all of them, talking about what the series they come from and just giving you a little bit of a demonstration and also showing the condition of them. So we'll start at the front row, which is the 2004 series. All of these being released by Playmates. And these ones were called the Playmates Ninja Action Figures. Um, with some of them being able to jump and some of them doing different things. So first of all, let's have a look at Michelangelo. I think it, this one isn't one of the jumping ones. It has metal feet and you can see uh, 2004 on the bottom. So perhaps this was designed to maybe stick on walls and go, let me see. No, he's not, he's not magnetic. So he's just got metal feet maybe to help with the stability. Uh, oh, in fact, he is, a, he is a jumper. Look, so yeah, so if you lean, that's right. So if you lean back and then I guess you let, you're supposed to be able to maybe put it on a base and let go, they then kind of jump around. So yeah, this they do articulate like this. And uh, what I'm going to do is splice in photos of the boxes and it does say something about them doing like somersaults or stuff, but I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to get them to do it. So condition wise, he's pretty good. There's, uh, I think those yellow lines are supposed to be the Nothing really major to point out. So he's in pretty good condition and, and the movement the movement all works fine. I think this is the wrong weapon. I have just put it in the back, so at least he has something that kind of fits and works. Next up we've got Donatello. Does he move as well? So this one doesn't. See his legs his legs are fixed. Yeah, don't think he's really designed to do anything. And he has basically his staff, and you can unscrew that and take it out as well uh, if you wanted to. But I think he's just kind of more just designed to sit, or maybe something like that. Maybe he's designed to just spin round on his on his back because his legs don't move. And what you've got is on him instead of the metal ones, he's kind of got rubber rubber bits at the, at the end of his feet. Again, the condition is fine for its age. You know, a little bit of light play wear, but nothing nothing crazy. Uh, moving on to Raphael. So if you look at the box, even though he usually has these as his primary weapons, with this one, he, he got this kind of uh, grapple hook with him. And I think, let me see, does his, so you can see again, his legs move. So he can maybe do a, a backflip or something. I've got to be careful because he's going to go flying into all the other ones. So he can do, he can do this as well. And what condition wise, it's a little bit of a, you know, when you bend something, there's a little bit of a stress mark just there on his weapons. His arms articulate, his movement is fine. So that's in there. And I don't think he's supposed to have things on the bottom because you still have 2004 written inside the foot and you, you can't, I don't think you'd put it inside and then put the metal on top. And then finally down at the end, we've got Leonardo. Uh, again, he's got uh, moving feet, hollow moving feet. So I guess, it, again, it's to do some kind of... Oh, there we go. I don't know if that was on camera. It kind of does a backflip. So this one, if I go like this, let's get him to backflip on, on here, perhaps. There. So, yeah, some kind of backflip manoeuvre. Uh, condition's pretty good all round, but what I had to do on this one was... Um, 
someone had kind of pulled this this would go into um kind of a piece of plastic and the screw would go into it it was broken so what i did was i moved that screw up into here and then i've just added another screw here to hold his uh, his sword in place doesn't look it doesn't look too out of place so uh, and otherwise nothing else to mention so that was the 2004 ninja action figures and bring in the next lineup and when i was researching these they looked very similar like different series like for instance look at this one here and then look at the back they look very similar but they do different things and one of the giveaways i found was whether or not they had it was their their grins so whether you could see the teeth or not because some of them you couldn't some of them you couldn't see the eyes so it's little details like that that help now these are the 2013 Playmates Nickelodeon Battle Shells and these I think are really cool because they've got extra accessories with them. So we'll start off with Michelangelo. I think he has the correct weapons, in fact I know he does because I've found the image online. So you've got them here and they, they really, they've got a lot of articulation, see how you can move the whole the whole leg, like you can rotate the whole leg, you can, you can br like move at the knee. The arms have got a lot of articulation, so that they've got loads of movement in them. He's got his weapons here. Now, the reason they're called the battle shell is because their shells open up and they have extra weapons inside. So you can see, see the hinge just here. So if I open up this shell, you can see he's got another weapon here, grappling hook or something like that. And that just fits in that, uh, that space that's designed for that weapon. You can see there's a little bit there and then it wraps around and sticks inside there. So really cool that they've got those extra bits built into them to mix it up. Really nice condition and you've got that extra weapon in the backpack. Moving on to Donatello. Again, you've got all that articulation again. Everything's exactly the same. One thing I found is he's got this strap here that goes onto the back and it does hold on okay, but it looks like it's potentially was stuck down a little harder. I don't think it would be designed to come away like that. I didn't want to glue it because I feel like it's okay, but the next buyer arguably could just put a little bit of uh, super glue underneath if they really wanted that to stay in place. You've got his primary weapon here, so you've got his bow staff. It's weird that they kind of come in this yellow color rather than the more traditional brown, but there it is. And then I can't remember if he had any extra weapons, but yeah, so in here you've got these kind of throwing weapons here, like a ninja star almost, but, but circular. So there's two of those and they sit on this peg here in the middle and again, just, just closes up. Um, but yeah, another nice figure. And because they've got a lot of articulation, they actually stand really well. Uh, moving on to Raphael, uh, you know, another really nice image. It's, you notice how they've actually given the the, the um, given them all different shades as well. I know they have with the front, but you can see really see the difference between like it's almost like exaggerated difference in colours rather than here where they they all look quite similar. Again, a really lovely uh, condition uh, figure. You know, he's got his two primary weapons here as well. Weapons battle shell. No, so I don't have his secondary weapon on there, but you do have his uh, his his two sides. And then our last turtle. Blue Leonardo one with the katanas again, nice figure, all all the same, all in good condition. He's got his uh, two swords, but yeah, this does come off if you want to remove it, and you can take the the swords out, or you can leave them kind of pushed into the back. And if you open up again, doesn't have the primary weapon, but there would be something else inside there as well. So I like I really like that with the extra weaponry hidden in the shell. It's just super it's just a super simple uh, nice idea and they pose they pose really well. Um, but we'll move those to one side and go on to the uh, the next lot now. Okay, so these ones were released in 2014 and they're a, they're a tie-in with the uh, with the movie that came out. One thing is I think I have for some reason the wrong the wrong weapons with these, but You've got something included as a start of a ten. You don't. You don't have to use them. So the first one, uh, Michelangelo. They're really unusual. So I don't. I I've got to hold my hands up and say I haven't watched the most recent film. For me, growing up, I just remember the the cartoons, and that's where they kind of stick in my memory: the cartoons and the games. Um, oh yeah, on this one. So basically, your articulation. You've got bits of articulation at the knee, but you really don't have much in the leg at all. They're really stiff. There's not much in the body. There's a bit more in the arms, but the legs are really weird. Um, and what I found was there was one, there's a small peg that goes through the knee that was broken. I didn't have anything suitable. So I just put a small black screw just through its knee. So it still articulates. Uh, it's reasonably subtle, five points if you spotted that screw before I mentioned it. Don't think this is the correct weapon, but he, he would have um, 
something similar. I think it's a different color in, in, uh, in the middle. Okay, moving on to Donatello. So he, again, you've got that limited, you've got that articulation in the knees, limited articulation here. Again, you get a lot more movement in their hands, but what I find is these bits seem to just get in the way of their of their arms. Uh, they've got these bandanas on all of them. He's got this, um, I don't know, a visual device here and, and, a, and a pack on the back as well. Raphael, so again, these are the wrong weapons, but I've put them with with them. But I think, I think they might have gone with one of them because if you look at this plastic, it's so similar to maybe like a baddie or a different character had those swords and I just happen to have put them with him because he's missing what he would usually uh, he would usually have. Again, you've got uh, the same amounts of articulation. You've got the bandana. You've got some light play wear. You know, just where the, the, the paints come away. Moving on to our last one. So Leonardo. Uh, what I find is, so this this part goes in the back like normal, but it does seem to fall out quite a lot. Like the maybe the hot holes like a little bit too large if you wanted to stop it dropping out so easily you can use little techniques like a tiny bit of blue tack to just stick it in place i didn't i didn't want to do that i'll just kind of set it as it is um other than that you know conditions fine some light play wear all the, the same amounts of articulation it's got two swords which are virtually identical to the ones shown on the box the only difference is that the ones i found on the box don't have this blue but again that blue is it's almost exactly the same here so i'm thinking was it a slightly different version? Maybe, maybe not. And I don't know if these were always designed to just be in this hollow space or whether they actually, you know, went inside something. The fact that it's on both of them makes me think it probably was just designed to go in like that. So we've got all of those and we'll move on to our last two. I'm gonna just bring them over the top. So you'll notice that, as I mentioned, these look extremely similar to the battle shells and like if you put these two side by side and you're trying to work out which one, uh, like which is which just from the front, it's very easy to mix up when they're from. But look at the mouth, see how it, that one's got te like uh, white teeth and that one doesn't. Uh, and also the little markings on the body, you've got the small bit there and there's a lot more markings on there. But other than that, very, very similar. Even the shells look like, like very similar. But look at here, it doesn't have that hinge, it doesn't have the battle shell. So what these were, I think they've basically simplified the mouldings down and this was part of a 2014 uh, series called Mutations. So this figure, Tiger Claw, he had a couple of guns in the box and he had this leg like on. So in the box, you basically just pull them off because they're ball and socket joints. And he's like this in the box. He's like that, wearing a turtle leg and then over there, he came bundled with one of these. So again, you like you pull a leg off, and you and you stick this on. Now I get the idea that you know people like to create their own, but for me, it just it, it literally makes no sense. Anyway, they are a mutation series from 2014. So in summary, that was the well four kind of different series of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. 2004 Playmates Ninja Action, 2013 uh, Battle Shell Collection, which I thought was pretty cool. We've got the movie spin-off uh, figures, 2014. And then at the back, we've got Mutations, where they have uh, like, different interchangeable parts. Some of them are missing weapons, some of them might, may or may not have the right weapons, but condition is pretty good all the way, bar a screw in one leg and something there. But a, a real nice um, trip down memory lane. Um, these will be going on my eBay shortly, and so go over to my eBay if you fancy uh, buying any of these. Uh, and if you like the video, please um, hit the like bu button and subscribe. There's, there's always loads of retro stuff on my channel, lots coming up. Um, and until the next one, all the best, take care and see ya.